The state said no carnival, but segments of the populace said mass must play. Well, it is apparent that the jabs rule the nation as they put on massive shows over several weekends, all culminating on the revoked carnival Monday and Tuesday holidays. No holidays, but large crowds were in the streets in most parishes. What was more, the jabs chanted vile lyrics, mostly spewing venom toward persons in authoritative positions. Their actions have sparked concern in several quarters, with persons expressing concern concern about the utter disrespect meted out to those in authority. The displays have been cited as a reflection of a breakdown in law and order. Former Prime Minister Tillman Thomas is among those who have voiced concern about what was displayed in recent times. It's not a good precedent. We should be a, a law-abiding society and we should respect those in authority. But when those in authority themselves disregard the law and order, that creates a complication because um, we must never forget, and I repeat it on several occasions, once you disregard the judgment of the court, you're showing a disregard for, for law and order. Prime Minister Dr. Keith Mitchell also highlighted the issue in his recent national address. My friends, I have observed a very disturbing trend in recent weeks. One that can only be described as a growing culture of defiance, an increasing tendency towards lawlessness. I readily acknowledge that human beings are social creatures and restrictions, especially over an extended period as we have done are difficult to endure. Former Prime Minister Tillman Thomas says the recent developments are regrettable and there is need for introspection from the top of the leadership ladder. The present administration has shown that they do not respect the court, the judgment of the court. Law is law. Whether it is the court or whether the parliament passes the law, we must observe and uphold the law. So the present administration has a lot to answer for, for the lawlessness that is taking place in the country today. And it is frightening, it's a dangerous precedent. I mean, you have people in authority laying out certain rules and regulation and, and the mass of the people, especially young people, committing defiance against the authority. That's not a healthy situation. We have to really get in control of our society and to lead by example. GBN will engage various stakeholders in the coming days and weeks to examine the causative factors and possible strategies which could be adopted to reverse the trend. For GBN News, trainee reporter Anaika Alexander.